In this last section here for lesson number two on sketching your portrait accurately, uh, we're going to do the lace. We're going to draw the lace here on her dress and that's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to be a challenge, but hey, this is a portrait painting challenge. So I'm going to dive in here and just start blocking in some forms and uh, see what happens. So I want to refine, first of all, the edge of her shoulder. And right now where it's at, it's a little simplified. I need to get a little more complexity in the shapes and just make sure I have everything going where it should go. So we can see these striations come up, oh, maybe about a third of the way down. There's a little puffy area that I want to capture. And then we have this little divot right here. We have another divot that I want to capture right in there. And we have another divot down here. So I'm looking at those darker forms. So it's it's very easy to get hung up on all the little textures, all the embroidery and the patterns within that embroidery and you know the areas that are more opaque and areas that are more translucent. You kind of have a kind of have some tool fabric it looks like um, where it's somewhat translucent. And then we have these areas that have like leaf patterns and different things, but it's very easy to get hung up on that. If you want to see the distinction in value, we want to see, you know, that this area here is going to be a little darker overall on the left side and a little lighter on the right hand side. And I'm not going to sketch in every little detail. I'm going to try to simplify the forms a bit. And in that way, hopefully it'll be a little easier to sketch. So I'm going to just get a little bit of distinction in the value here. A little bit of distinction there. There's a couple leaves here. I can just suggest those forms in. And let's see, that comes out to about the halfway point. So we'll just suggest that in and we're going to lightly block in some of the texture there. I'm using less pressure up here on the top because this part should be mostly in highlight. And again, I don't want to sketch every little form in, just mostly what I need to get the values locked in. This area here would be shaded in. This would be shaded in right there. This would be shaded in right there. And so on. And this area here could be shaded in a bit. We have a little bit of an edge there where it changes direction. And there's just a lot of fun work here. Just a lot of very minute detail work. So here we have a nice almost clover form. And that gets intersected by this line running across. I want to try to block in this form a little more simply. 
try to see the overall structure before I really get in too deep with the details. So the overall value shift occurs right here. I'm going to just loosely imply that. Um, I'm going to just suggest this overall form coming down there. And we have this circular shape. I want to loosely suggest that and just plot out roughly where it's going to occur. So it goes down below. Yeah, it just kind of meets the intersection of these grid lines and then it flows down a little bit, comes back up to about there. Oh, maybe a third of the way from the edge, so two thirds across. We have a couple little forms there. So I'm just going to block these in a little more simply at this point. And then I have this form over here. I want to block that in a little looser. And so this little curly shape comes in about that far to about the halfway point. Ch changes direction, then goes down. It's not a complete loop. It's Maybe because of the shape of the fabric and some of it's scrunched together, it's not like a complete circle. It's kind of like a compressed oval almost. So we're just going to, again, block that in pretty simply. And let's see. There's a major distinction here. I want to capture that follows right along here and it flows down all the way to the edge. It almost meets the edge of the actual arm here, this angle right there. But I just want to show that and get that contour in right away. I think you'll find that it's not quite so daunting to sketch if you get in some of the major forms first. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. There's a major form right here I want to capture. It's a thick area that flows just about like that. And then it flows into a round form that it oh, goes maybe about this far, almost to the halfway point between these two vertical grid lines. It's one of those little loops, but it's not a complete circle. Comes up a little higher right there. And then this other loop, they do not connect. All right, so this loop up here, this loop up here does not connect with the loop down there. All right, so this one starts a bit lower. Then it flows down at about that angle. Just erase it a little bit because it should be white in the middle. And then it loops in again and it flows all the way to about there. And then we have another little loop and that flows here and that does not connect with this one up on top. So I have to make sure I don't make those connect. That one's going to flow down a little bit lower to the midway point. Just at about this angle right here. All right, then we're going to have some other little forms we can fill in. There's some leaves there. We can block those in kind of simply. And I guess I made it flow down a bit too far. Just really trying to see the abstract forms as much as possible. I know they're something like some leaves, but 
if you can just simplify them a little bit, it's going to make it easier to block it in. And we can always refine those forms a little more in the painting stage. I'm not as concerned about the lace as I am about her face. I want to make sure I have that likeness down, get that focal point on her eyes, on her face, her hair. This, the rest of it's more extraneous. Because anytime you're doing a portrait, people are going to look at the eyes right away. I mean, the eyes are the most important feature. Clothing is supplemental. So you really want to get that focus on her eyes, on the detail on her mouth, on her hair. And the lace, you know, we'll put some detail in there, but we don't have to make it look hyper-realistic. Okay, that's not the goal in this painting. That's not how I'm going to teach it. I'll, I'll put plenty of detail there, but most of the focus is going to be on her face. All right, so, but uh, just in case you're, you're wondering, yes, we will make that lace look fantastic. All right. It's just, it's not going to have every little texture, every little divot. All right. We'll, we'll get just that right balance. That's what we'll strive for. And let's continue on here. We're going to show the, this kind of stem structure that flows down at about this angle. I'm just going to block in the form pretty simply. <clears throat> so we have a shape right here that I want to show. There we go. And there's almost like a butterfly form that I want to capture as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that flows in like this, flows out right there. So there's almost some little wings. We have some leaves in here. And then right here, we have another form. Have a couple little leaves flowing down on both sides. This is really going to help your sketching skills to draw all these forms in here, even with the grid. Granted, if you were, you know, tracing this, you could do it a lot faster. Um, but uh, just for developing your skills, this is going to be really helpful. It's a lot of detail, uh, but it'll be worth it. And I'm going to get this form in here. There's kind of a leafy area. There's Almost like some plants growing there. That's kind of what the fabric is doing. And that probably comes down a little lower than what I drew it. So let's just redraw that. Okay, and we have that, and then we have a little kind of a stem or branch above it, the few leaves sticking out. And I really want to pay attention to the negative spaces. That would be the darker areas. Um, getting those forms in will be very, very helpful in making sure you stay on track as you're sketching these forms. Because when you paint it, you're going to be blocking in these darker areas first. You're not going to be painting the lighter areas. All right. So at the end you will, but uh, initially we're going to block in the negative spaces. So we really want to pay attention to getting those shapes correct. Here we have a bit of a divot coming in.
and there's some kind of a stem structure in the middle of this loop. So I just want to show those forms in there. There's a one stem up there on top and there's another one down there and then there's almost like these little four leaf clovers something like that i just want to portray those all right and then we have A little bit of shading here around the leaves. We capture that in there. And I'm just kind of filling these areas in as I go. Once I have enough visual information there, I'm just filling it in so I kind of know what's what and I don't get lost. And that is easy to have happen when you have so much detail. Very easy to get lost. You just want to make sure that you have enough visual information to go by. Keep that colored pencil nice and sharp. Um, I'm going to fill in these areas a little bit. Just get a bit of distinction in the forms. And then, let's see here. So we have this rounded area. I want to begin to fill that in. And it really should come down a little further. I think I didn't bring that shape down far enough. Let's bring it down a little bit more. And then we have these kind of patterns going across, diagonal patterns like plaid almost. Oh, how many are there? There's three of them. That looks like there's three of those diagonal patterns. I just want to make sure I have the angles correct. There's one that goes down like that. Then there's... Uh, those little honeycomb or four leaf clover kind of shapes in there. So I just want to get those, those shapes in overall. Just block them in somewhat ambiguously. And I'll just fill in the negative spaces. I can always refine it later. To me, it's not important to get every little detail. I just want to have enough visual information that I can uh, block this in and really make the painting successful. There's a little bit of a curved form I want to show on this side. Now let's see where that's at. Oh. And I want to get in these little shapes right there as well. All right, so we have some leafy forms down here in the underside I want to capture. This one goes down to about a halfway point. I 
There's another leaf right there I want to capture. I want to make sure I have these going to the right point. And then we have another little form right here that I want to capture. I don't think I left enough room for it. This one must have come up a little too high. So let's just uh, let's shrink that a bit. This one can come down a little lower. And then this leaf actually goes below the grid line. And we have this little round form that comes up and almost meets this loop over here. And then a leafy structure in between that meets up with this one right there. Something like that. Just fill these forms in. If you have your benchmarks sketched in some of these major forms first, it should keep you pretty well in line. All right, we'll fill this in right there. Fill in that edge, this edge. Just block that in kind of loosely. And we're just gonna yeah, fill in this area here. We have these little honeycomb patterns or uh, four leaf clovers, we'll fill those in. And we can make them a little more abstract here as we get away towards the middle part of the painting. Make it just a bit looser on the bottom. Give it more of a painterly look. Get in these uh, forms up there, block those in. And we'll just fill in that pattern right there. All right, I want to see some of the changes in the patterns here as we get toward the edge of her arm. I'm just going to bring that arm down a little bit. I don't want it going to the corner of the canvas is that it's just a little bit of an awkward juxtaposition there. We don't want that visual tangent down there. I'm just going to bring that arm up a little bit away from the edge. I'm just going to show the bottom of her sleeve here. Just uh, blocking these forms a little more simply. 